winter on Prince Edward Island. Cold temperatures whipped by wind chill that can cut through you. The beautiful province now covered by a blanket of snow. These conditions keep our student-athletes focused, driven, and unforgiving. Now that the fall has passed and our students have settled into life at Holland College, it's time to begin the winter portion of our athletic schedule. Continuing the momentum from last year's success, the Badminton Hurricanes would compete in five ACAA events before finishing in third at the conference championships hosted for the first time ever at Holland College. Matt Barlow and Emma Hughes would excel in singles competition at this event, qualifying to represent the conference at the CCAA National Championships in Edmonton, Alberta. Excitement swirled around the addition of Ringette to the Hurricanes family of sport offerings for the 2017-2018 season. Taking on the top university teams from Nova Scotia, the Canes quickly cemented themselves as a team to not take lightly in their inaugural season. Their first victory was over the St. FX X-Women, followed by their first tournament win in Halifax when they took down the St. Mary's Huskies and Acadia X-Women. Their crowning achievement on the season was winning the Atlantic University Cup in Halifax, defeating the Dalhousie Tigers by a score of 3-2 with a hat-trick from Sue Ellen McGinnis. In just their first year, the Hurricanes tamed university powerhouses that are multiple times their size. The future is bright for this exciting new program at Holland College. The return of women's curling came in 2018 for the Hurricanes as they took on the nation's best at the CCAA National Championships in Alberta following a winter season of training at the provincial level. An opening game win was followed by six close losses as the Canes finished in a tie for seventh in an exciting return to collegiate women's curling. Look for this sport to grow rapidly for the Canes in the near future. Every March, the top cheerleaders from around the region meet in Halifax for Cheer Expo. The Canes made a repeat visit once again to put their skills on display after a winter of practice and development. In the end, the Canes walked away with a banner for their performance, cementing themselves as a top destination for maritime cheerleaders wanting to continue their careers at the collegiate level. The sound of steel on ice was welcomed by the women's hockey Hurricanes when they returned to action in 2017. Determination was in the eyes of the players and coaching staff as they hit the ice for the new season. A regular season of back and forth battles with the University of New Brunswick for first place ended with the teams tied at 11-5. Hosting the Atlantic Championship on home ice, the Hurricanes fell short in their opening game to UNB which ultimately forced them to play three games in 18 hours. Leaving it all on the ice, they ultimately fell short, with a second straight runner-up finish. Mackenzie Keown, Sam Higgins, and Samantha Woodworth were named first-team All-Stars for the Canes, while Caitlin Dunn and Nicole Gallant were named second-team All-Stars. There has been few programs who have won as many women's volleyball matches over the past four seasons as the Hurricanes. The team was in fine form once again in 2017-2018, finishing with an outstanding 18-3 regular season which vaulted them into the semi-finals where they would ultimately fall to the host team after five exciting sets in a hostile environment. Megan LeBlanc, Dana Trainer, Gracie Ferguson, and Brittany States were all recognized for their accomplishments during the regular season with major awards from the ACAA. A regular season record of 69 and 15 since 2014 displays the quality of volleyball demonstrated by the women's volleyball hurricanes. Fresh off their ACAA championship the year prior, the men's volleyball Hurricanes were hungry for more. 
Six straight wins to start the regular season positioned them as the heavy favorites in the ACAA. They'd finish their regular season winning eight of their final ten games to clinch first place entering the playoffs. A straight sets victory in semifinal action made a statement as the Hurricanes were headed to the conference championships once again, this time versus the host team. A loss in four sets would send the Canes home with a silver medal, while Brett Butler, Marcus Lapointe, Gordon Veach, and Joe Ryan were all recognized with major awards from the ACAA. A rebuilding program began adjusting to a new head coach in 2017-2018 as the women's basketball Hurricanes welcomed Jared Chevary to the helm. A strong start to the season was exciting for all until injury issues began to catch up to the roster. A 10-2 regular season start would end on a 1-5 slide to enter the playoffs as the number 3 seed. A gutsy quarterfinal win propelled the Canes into the semifinals where they would fall to the national championship hosts. Islander Lexi McGuinness was named the ACAA Rookie of the Year while Brianna Rivoli Johnson and Jay Laverne were also recognized with major awards from the conference. Two thousand thirteen, two thousand fourteen, two thousand fifteen, two thousand sixteen, two thousand seventeen, two thousand eighteen. In fifty years of ACAA competition, there has been only one other men's basketball team win the conference championship six straight times. The Hurricanes accomplished this feat after a 20-1 and regular season and dominating playoff performances. In their sixth straight trip to the CCAA National Championship, a win in their opening game sent them to the semifinals, where they would fall to the eventual national champions by just four points. An overtime win followed by a come-from-behind double overtime win in their second game of the day gave the Canes their third straight national bronze and fourth national medal in the last six seasons, bolstering the men's basketball Hurricanes as a dynasty, not only at the conference level, but in national collegiate competition. Seasons end and the focus shifts fully to exams, projects, tests, and internships. The life of a collegiate student athlete is not an easy one. A lot has happened and changed in the 210 days since the first Hurricanes games of the season last fall. But one thing that never changes, you can count on the Hurricanes to show up ready to play, displaying heart and showing their passion, spirit, and pride.